guys, it's Cooper Amused and today I'm bringing you an unboxing for Tokyo Treat. If you don't know what a Tokyo Treat box is, it is a subscription to a Japanese kind of candy, lolly and drink kind of box. This is a premium package and so that means that I actually get between uh, 13 and 17 different treats including two DIY kits and one drink. How much does this cost? As an Australian, it generally costs between $45 and $50 and that's all to do with the exchange rates. The great thing about this box is it is free shipping. Otherwise, just keep an eye on your exchange rate if you're going to order something from Tokyo Tree. I do believe they ship almost everywhere in the world, but just check their listing and their back page so you can check out where they do ship to. Let's get into it. Handy box cut up. So, the first thing that comes out of there, and I haven't looked in the box, I never look in the box, is this. Okay, it gives you a detailed uh, description of all the stuff that is in here. And as you can see, this is the September one. Okay, so in here, that lid closed again, didn't it? <laughs> so in here, that's what we've got. I think I did see that there was something on top, so there you go. Now I get to have a look. <laughs> so the first item is this. And so this is the potato chips fatty tuna flavor. Tuna flavor? Interesting. This comes in the small box. And it's actually from pretty much my favorite brand in Japan. It's from Kelby. I love their foods. Okay, it doesn't even really smell like strong tuna. It kind of smells like just general original potato chips with a bit of fish finger smell after it, to be honest. <laughs> and as always, they have the perfect kind of chip. Yeah, I'm not getting a tuna kind of flavor. I'm getting mostly plain chip flavour. <laughs> I would definitely give these maybe a four. Okay, it's not overpowering, they're really delicious, and they're perfectly shaped kind of chips. Next item, so we have this item, and this is a deep sea gummy picture book. It comes in the premium package, and it's make your own undersea gummies with Kane Bow's deep sea gummy picture book. It's a DIY kit. And so if you don't know already, I actually do the DIY kits in a separate video. So keep your eyes out for that. This looks amazing. This is the round and round takoyaki. Oh my God, this is like one of the most famous kind of snack to have over in Japan, a takoyaki. And I also apologize if I butcher these words. I don't really speak Japanese. I just like to think I do. <laughs> this is based off the famous Japanese street food takoyaki where we were shocked to find how similar the taste was to the original meal. Artificial octopus and mayonnaise made from flour sure can fool anyone. Use a toothpick and heat, skewer and bake just as you would regular takoyaki. Yep, yeah, so that is the second DIY kit. Next we have... Oh my god! I don't subscribe to kawaii box and they tend to have a lot of um stuff in it because it's cute stuff based around this character here and this is the I don't want to say it wrong <laughs> I really don't want to say this wrong so it's based around the Rilakkuma now I think I said that wrong so haters don't hate and at least explain how I should say it properly these are actually pretzels from the popular bear character mascot and Kapia snacks comes Rilakkuma pretzel biscuits Enjoy the sweet aroma of honey butter as you take every bite of this delightful snack. I don't really eat pretzels. I've never been a fan of them. I just kind of dislike the whole saltiness, but I'm willing to give these a go. It's actually really, really cute. Okay, that's really kind of a strong smell. It smells a lot like honey does, and it's just a simple stick like this. It kind of just tastes like a vanilla biscuit. I'm not getting so much of the honey. Mmm. Not even like the really pretzel taste that you would normally get. They're kind of more shaped like pretzels than they are pretzels. I'd almost want to call these Pocky, except they don't have like the special coating over them. But yummy. <laughs> I'd probably give these maybe a four because it's a simple taste and it's obviously a really popular um, brand or mascot over in Japan, so I'm sure they absolutely dig this up. Next we have this. I don't know what this is. 
it's upside down. <laughs> we have this. This is the Red Bull Taste Hunter gummy. It's in a small package. These delicious gummies have collaborated with the popular Japanese game Monster Hunter to create a wild treat for any type of adventurer. The energy taste mixed with honey will leave you feeling refreshed and ready for the next gaming binge. I don't really know the game that they're talking about. It actually kind of smells like a sunny boy. Australians, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's just the little guy there. Whoa. Oh my god. It's like one big burst of sugar and it really does taste like a Red Bull. I don't even like Red Bull. Not bad. I'd probably give these uh, a three because I reckon I'd get sick of them really quickly. Next we have this. And this comes in the regular package. It's Crackling Panic Cola. These cola flavored candy bites will shock and amaze you with their crackling and fizzing powers. The bold taste will remind you of a bubbly cola and keep you wanting more. Like cola flavored Pop Rocks. Yeah, that's pretty much what it looks like. You got these little candies in there and that just tastes like a general sugar candy. And then, now this is probably gonna be really hard to see. I'm gonna put like this in my head. I love popping candy. <laughs> yeah, it's just cola flavored popping candy which is really fun because it makes that sound. I'm definitely going to give them a five because who wouldn't love this? Popping candy rocks. Cola flavor rocks. Get it? Cola rocks. <laughs> Next we have bake cookies and cream flavored chocolate. This comes in a small pack. Enjoy the rich taste of bake crisp cookies with a sweet and creamy interior. They are said to never melt in your head and for a fun summer treat, try freezing them to enjoy as an ice cream alternative. That sounds like a really good idea. I like that idea. So this is what it looks like. It smells like a really strong chocolate. Um, haven't got any of the kind of cookie, uh, creamy kind of flavor yet, but I'm sure I will. The chocolate's kind of like, um, kind of like a, a musky kind of taste, like a deep taste. It's not overpowering though, because the cream kind of just balances it out and makes it not so rich and overpowering. I quite like these. I definitely want to try them as a cold treat. Um, if you're following me on Instagram, I'll let you know what it's like on there. The difference between a room temperature compared to a frozen one. I'm going to give these a four out of five Coopers. Next we have another box. There must be something to do with pretzels on their mind because it's another thing to do with pretzels. This is the Pretz Soy Sauce Biscuit. Comes in the regular package and these limited edition pretz sticks have been dipped in soy sauce and are perfect for when you are having a salty craving. Enjoy the crisp biscuit paired with the savory flavors of Japanese soy sauce. Brilliant, it comes in two separate packages, so there's more for another time. They're a bit broken, but they look pretty good. So they just come as a basic pretzel stick like that. They look a little darker than a normal pretzel, and that's probably because they're being dipped in soy sauce. Really crunchy. You might be able to hear me chewing from all the way through the camera, as if I was right beside you. Ooh, that flavor. Is a little strong. The taste is overpowering, but it's not soy sauce overpowering. It's just like sauce overpowering. Like maybe a bit of barbecue sauce, maybe? I get more of that than I do soy. I'm probably gonna give it a two because they're not really that delicious for me. Um, it'll be something that I eat when I'm bored and there's nothing else in the house. <laughs> Next we have, ooh, these look pretty cool. Look at that picture, isn't that pretty cool? All right, so this is the Fujia Milky Candy, it comes in the regular box. It's made from fresh milk from the Hokkaido region of Japan. This candy is thick and soft milk chew that will really bring out the sweet flavor of dairy goods that you probably will not find anywhere else. Mm. Oh, they're wrapped like little bonbons. How cute is that? And each little packet has these little face on it. Aww. So that's what they look like. They're pretty much just a milk chew, from what I can tell at least. They taste pretty much exactly the same as the milky chews that you can get from Allen's. You get that creamy kind of milky flavor and it's a chew so you really gotta work at it to get it into a completely like liquidy kind of shape. Mmm. Nonetheless, delicious. <laughs> oh my god. I just realized this is a girl. It's a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> so I would probably give these a four. I kind of 
like them. They remind me of Ellen's Milky Chews. They're really nice and they're so cutely packaged. So definitely I'll give that a four. The next item I have in the box is these guys. And these are vegetable oopsie daisy consomme snacks. From the old days of Japan, these simple dried veggie snacks have resurged as a popular treat today. Delicious and healthy grains give way to vegetable flavors through green and yellow biscuits. Adorable characters on the packaging also make the treat a super fun snacking experience. And so they come in the premium pack too. So, these are all the really cool shapes that you could get. I want the ducky. Oh, cool! It comes in small packets, so there's two packets in here. That is awesome. Right. I hope none of them are squished. Oh, these are adorable. Oh, wow, they smell so good. This is like, I'm not sure, this might be like a love heart with something on top of it. So there's that guy there. Oh, it smells so good. It's, oh, kind of reminds me of like barbecue flavor smell mixed with, um, I don't know, kind of like vegetable stock maybe? Yeah, maybe that. Oh my God. Oh my God. These are delicious. They've got the same kind of consistency as, um, those old chicken drumstick biscuits that you used to be able to get. Um, but they're like puff in the middle and it's just air and it's just that crisp little biscuit around the outside. And then you get the flavouring. He's a scarecrow! Oh, that's so cool! Look at this scarecrow. <laughs> Kids wouldn't even notice its vegetable flavour. Mmm. Oh my god, I'm going to enjoy these. These get a five, like so get a five. Next is this, and I actually heard about this. This is a special item in the premium box. It's a Genghis Khan caramel. From the north, most north region of Japan, Hokkaido serves a renowned Genghis Khan dish of grilled sheep and garlic and herbs. There were some serious spoilers on Instagram with this, and I have to admit, this looked Amazing. Now for a taste of this region, you can enjoy the rich, savory meat and garlic lamb flavors in this caramel. We consider this a challenge treat. So please, by all means, give it a try and you will not be disappointed. <laughs> okay, now I'm a little frightened, <laughs> more than anything. Awesome. Okay, how do we get in? How do we get in? Where's your special opening? What are you? Oh, cool. You push it, it comes out like that. And they're individually wrapped. There's so many of them. So that's what they look like. I don't really smell anything. It's quite hard. Oh, I got a flavor then. There's a caramel. There's a lamb. And there's the garlic. This tastes surprisingly good. It's not the best flavor I've ever had, but wow, I'm seriously not disappointed. Thumbs up to you, Treat. This is a really cool kind of thing to try. I'm, I'm not kidding here. It really tastes like lamb with like some garlic seasoning on it and then you've got that hint of caramel that comes onto it and it's the flavors like it's meant to be there it just makes the other flavors melt together better and just explodes in your mouth i'm definitely gonna have to give this a, a like a four definitely a four mm -hmm, mm -hmm. only a few things left okay next we have these guys, these come in a small package. It's Monster Stamps, a hard type of soda sweet that can actually be used as a stamp through licking and wetting. Please do this on something else edible for safety Reddit reasons though. <laughs> After stamping your tongue, you will see an adorable monster appear. Taste, play and stamp and enjoy. So it looks like this. Little stampy stamp. So wet it. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me try again. And then can you see anything is what I'm saying. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I couldn't see anything, but God, that was stupid. Oh. It tastes really good.
Oh, it tastes like grape flavored. Yeah, sugar and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> this is fine just to make people walk around and go. Yeah, huh? Hey. It's meant to be a skull, and I kind of get that when you look at my tongue. I kind of get that. I don't get any of the eyes or anything, but <laughs> I really don't want to show you the back of my throat again. <laughs> That. Two things left. <laughs> I'm not gonna get over that one. Okay, we have this guy. Okay, this is in the uh, regular package. It's the Lotte Koalas Match Strawberries. Popular koala match cookies are back. Enjoy buttery, crisp ko uh, koala shaped biscuits with refreshing strawberry cream filling. <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah. Strawberry's probably my most favorite ice cream flavor. Oh, I like mint is, but strawberry would be second. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like these. Oh, whoa, oh yeah, you get the strawberry kind of smell there, definitely. Oh, they're adorable. They are just so cute. I've had these before. I think you can get chocolate filled ones at like Coles. That's in there. And I think, yeah, I'm sure you can get these as chocolate flavored at Coles, but I haven't seen strawberry before. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Kind of reminds me of those lucky dip things you used to be able to get, where you have like the plain vanilla stick and you dip it into the flavoring. That kind of stuff. Really yum, simple, sweet. The vanilla comes through in the biscuit and then the strawberry doesn't overpower it, but just kind of melts it into a, like a creamy kind of taste overall. These are really good, I give them a four. Oh, and here's the drinky thing. Okay, so this is the last thing in the box and this is the drink. Uh, oh. Oh my god, it's a jelly. Oh my god. Ribbon jelly grape canned drink. Appearing as a beverage, this canned drink is actually a refreshing jelly snack. You must shake well before drinking to ensure that all the flavors and contents mix up properly to give the best texture. The flavor of grape is a sure winner to everyone. Enjoy. It's got two sets of instructions here. I'm not sure which one to do. It says five and then a 20. Okay, I'm just gonna go with it my hands really tied <laughs> refreshing drink though just like a grape thing it almost tastes like grape soda but without the fizz and while the liquid is a bit thicker it's not actual jelly consistency like it is on the actual can it could just be that I didn't shake it enough or I didn't shake it the right way or I was meant to do something else with it Tokyo treat you might need to send some instructions next time <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I'm a dunce and did not get it. Um, I totally give this a four though. That is a fun concept and like a fun drink to have and it still tastes pretty good even though it's not like super jelly. You never know, it might go more jelly over time. It feels heavier since having done that. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, my antics. I think I've been a little crazy today. <laughs> If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button. I really appreciate that. Leave any comments, and if you're really into it, please subscribe. Also, check out my Instagram. I'll have that comparison up between the frozen and the room temperature cookie chocolate that we had before. So until next time, I hope you guys take care of yourself and Cooper out. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, no, Gollum is not getting this ring, and I'm never coming uninvisible again. The wraiths would be on me like that. <laughs>